Hi guys, so now we're going to discuss the coffee system. This is really a passionate topic for me and for, you know, I'm sure for you and for most Brazilians, uh, for most of the world as we go, uh, this is one of the most used drugs in the world, coffee. So it really has got great market value and many aspects that we can go into when we talk about coffee. Yeah, definitely. The interesting thing about coffee is that coffee and an agroforestry systems since it's a perennial plant, it's really the end goal when you start an agroforestry system, right? You, you're planting all the perennials with annual plants, by annual plants, and you're really aiming for having that lower strata coffee plant really all over your system. And it really looks beautiful because it is the understory of the forest. And so it's really a great thing to have in your future forest. After five, six years, it's going to be starting to produce beautifully. Yeah. Coffee and forest, I mean, that's a perfect marriage. You know, people all the time come to us and, you know, I want to produce coffee. So if you want to produce coffee, you have to produce forest. You know, f coffee really is a plant from the forest. And it's so great for us that works with agroforestry because it really is a plant that occupies that specific layer, that bottom layer. And not many bottom layer plants has this power in the market. So it really is one of the most used bottom layer plants. It really is the one the type of plant that can accept the shade and it has such an interesting uh, value commercially. Definitely. And as you already know, since it's a plant that's going to start producing on the second to the third year and then it's going to go on for a long time, we don't want to wait that long to have mm -hmm. our first harvest. So here in the system, besides having coffee as a main crop, we're having corn, Beans, cassava. cassava, and vegetables. We've got specifically collard greens and lettuce to have a first harvest. So actually, by the third month, most of it is paid. That's right. And you know, it's not only the fact where we want to harvest before we get to the three years. That's not the only bonus. Really, these plants are giving it support, support in structuring the soil in this newly planted coffee. Really, coffee loves coming in with the vegetable because the kind of love and care you need to give to the vegetable, the coffee really loves that. And people uh, have the tendency to just plant coffee in monocultural systems where they just have that amount of manure per coffee and that's it, you know. But really, when you give the love that you give for vegetable crops and you've got the coffee in the middle of that vegetable, that kind of irrigation, that kind of manure, it really comes different. You really arrive at three years old. Uh, uh, a year early, you're basically within two years, your, 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 your first harvest when that really should have been at your third year. And, and the consortiums of these veg, in this case, we've got the corn. It's not only going to be there for harvest, it's going to be, it's going to come, it's going to be the first to spring out and it's going to give the first initial shade to the coffee. You know, at the moment, the coffees are out in the sun. It's not happy in the sun. So we really need to give it the shade as soon as possible. Obviously, we've got the bananas and the eucalyptus on the tree beds as we do yeah, throughout our agroforestry systems these powerful mothers that gives us the forest uh, feeling within a year but uh the corn can help me ease up the pain of the sun much quicker than that yeah definitely not counting all the organic matter that's going to be produced by the corn which will be returned to feed the coffee plant in the future so just for us to go through everything that was done here it was basically the same soil preparation that you've already seen. We prepared the beds, so we've got the tree beds and two vegetable beds in between, which in this case are planted with corn, beans, cassava and the coffee plants. In these beds, the difference is that we opened an individual nest for each coffee plant. Since we planted the seedlings of the coffee plant, we had to open a specific nest for each of them prepare it with the manure, the rock dust, lime, all the fertilizers that we showed you. And these were incorporated into the soil and the coffee plant was planted. And obviously after that, we came with a nice layer of mulch, which in this case is the horse's bedding, right? The horse shit yeah, the mixed with wood, all the shredded the wood, which is absolutely great. And then we planted all the rest cassava we came through with the cassava in between each coffee there's one cassava exactly and the way this system is going to evolve is that we're going to harvest in three months corn and beans 
in nine to ten months we're going to be harvesting the cassava and by that moment the coffee was going to be well established it's going to have new shoots the banana plants are already going to be shading it mm -hmm. the eucalyptus plants are already going to be shading it mm -hmm. so we give that initial special condition for it and after three to four months you already have everything covered yeah. by the other plants and you know what i'm really thinking of doing here felipe I'm, I'm, i might be a little bit late but uh, you know i want to run run around and try catch up here i'm looking to plant some papayas here i've been thinking to myself the papaya with the cassava you know if it has that little competition where the papaya can you know not get swallowed up by the cassava and survive the the first year when the cassava really comes out within the 10 12 months once that cassava is removed i really thinking that the papaya is going to have a great legacy here in between each coffee i think it's a great and idea give it a nice little layer just nice Let's you know do it. And so, it doesn't cost us anything if we're planting by seeds. Everything is prepared. We're going to eat a papaya tomorrow. Get the seeds, just sprinkle out here when we come out for our morning walk. Isn't that for right? Sure. And that's going to be a great emergent tree over the coffee. This and the why. organic matter that it, it produces is also very special. Because in two years' time, it's going to have a trunk this thick for us to lay on the soil. We're mm. going to have that soil nicely covered with papaya trunks and that's going to be beautiful. Keeping all the birds happy as well. Exactly. Right, well, I would like to go in a little bit about uh, the commercial power of coffee. Uh, we, you know, we've been having, a, f a few of us have been uh, harvesting coffee and taking it now to, to competitions. And, you know, this is where you get, this is where it's your benchmark in, in a real competition, in a, in a national tournament to see where we are. And we've had really good results recently in that scene and uh, it really what what's being noted is that our agua forestry coffee has got different notes it's, it's different it's almost like it's on a different chart it's so rich in natural sugars people are drinking it you know no sugar coffee and you know you can feel it's sweet so it's really blowing people's minds and because of that because of that people have approached us and helped us uh, get the better process after the harvest because you know we, we, this is what we've been doing professionally here planting the coffee but you know you, and then now we can really take it to championship level once we once we get the harvesting and the drying and the roasting or the after process or oh, that fermenting special fermentation the fermentation and and the, the slow dry and the shade so there's a lot of techniques uh, all of that is further down the line you know in a couple of years from now when you're harvesting your coffee knock us back we're gonna ha have your back on that we can discuss this all day long you know hit us with the Definitely. webinar if there's things if you've got coffee and you're in that stage where you want to learn how to prune the tree you know because there's lots to to the universe of coffee and uh we really want to be able to to have you count on us for this right so uh like i said hit, hit us on on that questions bring we're, us on, bring on your doubts we're everything gonna have you the want webinar to right us. on a friday we're going to be very happy to discuss this on the webinar and exchange ideas and all this experience and all right so let's discuss it you know let's 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 big up the tribe and and really and really hit us back and let us know what you think that's it so from the agroforestry academy crew we're signing off signing Cheers, off for guys. Now.